Hello Web3 developers, this is me Vanshika from Biconme. Today we would be discussing the biggest problem that exists in Web3 ecosystem, the UX itself. We will explore how account abstraction can be the solution to the complex UX problems in the Web3 ecosystem and how Biconme SDK can help to achieve this. Let's start off with the issues that most users come across on dApp to dApp basis. First of all, users have to use services like Metamask, etc. for the wallet creation and login process. They have to sign every time to approve every transaction. Managing custody is a difficult path for most of the users. Most of the dApps don't have the ability to transfer these assets across chain. Last but not the least, users have to spend on buying it to pay gas fees. Now with account abstraction, your Web3 account becomes much more than an EOA wallet more customizable with powerful features. You can control, access and use for managing all your transactions easily. Myconomy SDK follows the EIP 4337 proposal to have programmable wallets. Myconomy SDK is a Web3 developer suit that can help developers to give Web2-like experiences for their dApps through smart contract wallet approach. Uh, the addresses of these smart contract wallet accounts would be counterfactual in nature. Through Biconomy SDK, you can have social logins enabled on your dApp to make onboarding experience of users just like any Web2 app, have fiat on-ramp and off-ramp within the dApp. You can also allow the users to have gasless transaction by sponsoring the gas fees for them. You can pay gas fees in ERC20 tokens like USDT, USDC. We can offer a cross-chain experience and batch the transactions together whenever required. To use Biconomy in your dApp, you can install these packages that are mentioned on the screen right now and visit the documentation for more further information. I hope this video helps you to understand about the account abstraction and Biconomy SDK. We shall be coming up with more conceptual and technical videos, so stay tuned for them. For any questions that you might have, drop a comment or join the Discord today. Thanks for joining me. See you in the next one.